time around the city of New Orleans, the Crescent City. We've got to go through a lot of good food here. I can't only walk through the kitchen without stopping. I want to eat. <laughs> well, we go out through here. We're going out here by the... What's around here? Okay, princess, princess. I like the food too. Ah! Stay nice every day, time for the fish. Love it. Yeah, and that feels feels nice and pleasant. Mm -hmm. to get my boy to get together and sing a song that they said, oh, no, you been scared. So I want you to sing, I'm a nut while I play it. Oh, no, no, I can't. I, I'm scared he's scared to say. Well, that's the way I was when I was coming up there. When they told me about making records, yeah, I said, make a record? I said, oh, man, I said, I can't play good enough to make a record. So he says, oh, well, I says, is them on the on things you know that's all you believe? I said, oh, yeah. I said, oh, I got a lot of more songs. So he made me feel a little mad. He, he said, you mean you got a lot of words? You ain't none of them no songs. <laughs> and then, I said, well, I got a lot of old words. <laughs> he said, well, i tell you what you do. You're, um, this must have been about Friday. He said, you come over here, I'll be over here Monday morning early, and we're going to catch the 9 o'clock Pennsylvania, that American, out of here in New York. Boy, I, was, I would like to shout it. I said, what? New York? Man, I got the feeling good, you know. So that's how I got started. 1929, from a guy named Jesse Johnson, who owns a music store, and a fleet of cabs, whatever you know. Oh, he was about rich. Man, it's good to yes, man. Yes, ma'am. Honey, when they keep me in a jam, they want to make love rain and shine. Keeps me high in a Georgia pine. They want to make love rain and shine. And keeps me high in a Georgia pine. In my rest, I'm way behind. Still, they want to make me total line. Yes, I am. Good, good, yes, ma'am. I'm a man, baby, yes, I am. Good, good, yes, ma'am. When the women keep me in a jam. Beautiful jam. Woo! I heard you one day on, on that there. Uh, corn whiskey. Out of yuck. I went, I looked upstairs, I just, when the market, I see the sign, said, lawyer, somebody. 
So I'm going up to you. I went up and I told the lawyer. I said, look at you. I said, I got a song. I told him this how everything went. Showed him my contract. He said, well, that guy there is taking all your money. That's against the law for a man to do that to a man who don't understand. <laughs> and he uh, wrote me a little note to take down that of Jesse. Jesse John Newster was right down under this building on the first floor. And I showed Jesse Johnson this note. Because I said, oh, oh, Reuben, no, we don't start nothing in there. Uh, we didn't talk, we didn't talk. His wife named Edith. I said, the man, I said, you done took, I don't know how much money you done took from me. So I tell you what, Edith, right here, give him a $100 so you got I said, no, you better talk to my lawyer upstairs there. Oh, I said, so he said, will you be satisfied if I give you $500? I said, talk to the lawyer, man. I don't know whether you, I may be mistreating you, taking too much, I said. I said, I don't, I, I don't want to overdo you, and I don't want to undo you, I said. So finally, he come upstairs with me, and the man said, you, so give him $500, and says, and uh, thereafter, pay him his money. And I played the blues 42 years ago. down a dusty road, and it was a low thing, they figured they was taught it was a low thing, you know. You know, uh, with a woman with his shoe sole slapping, and the guitar swung fork across his back, in other words, and no place to go, and just bum-like, they figured it's called it was a blues play, you know, and they thought it was a, a back-slapping thing of a slavery, you know, they, they put it down low. And then, in other words, the blues is the truth. People uh, uh, duck them on that account. If they, in the next thing about them, they couldn't understand them, they couldn't capture them, then they want to duck them. <laughs> Anything man can't handle to do nothing with it, then he says no good. <laughs> but as soon as he gets ready to handle it, he says fine. So they, they, it's hard to help them to understand the blues, but as time went along, they begin to. See, blues was a truthful thing. See, they used to call them before the blues was a late name. They called them real. Real, you know, the, the real thing. Real, they said, that's, that's real. And they, and they taught the, all the young black people. See, opera is fine. Classic, all that fine, but you sing the blues, you go there. <laughs> so, so then it went, that's all he could play, see. He wasn't used to it, so that automatically would stop him from playing anything or else he'd go to hell. place and there were they everybody be dancing and drinking and uh, I'd sit down and play they'd having a good time and dancing over my music and everything here come another guy in a good piano player get up now get him up now here's Willie come on Willie I, and I'm feeling shame I done played for him <laughs> I don't think they beat my brain down get him up get him up uh, I had to get up and let Willie play <laughs> Willie do Willie hit me wow 
Oh, they'd holler, like, Flood Willie! Then I'd go sit over in the corner. <laughs> and soon Willie leave. Willie, I gotta go to Willie. Come here, yeah, come on. Come on, Rovell. Come on, you play that? I said, I ain't studying you. Come on, come on, Rovell, play that now. I said, oh, man, I But I'd be so glad. I said, I'll play one. <laughs> I'm so glad to get back up there. I'll be back up there. Here come Lincoln. Here come Lincoln. Madison. Hello, Madison. Come on. Get up now, Rover. Ma come on, Madison. Play the work. <laughs> so I had all that to, to get to with. I always feel good piano players coming. I watched that do. If he, I knew I was going to have to get up. <laughs> so I had all that to go through with. And, and being a musician, you have a lot of things. Uh, embarrassing things, times. But I wouldn't give it up. don't read the Bible to, to do nothing but the rules and regulations of what man's supposed to live by. It teaches the things to do. He, he even specified one spot for you, the Tenth Commandments. <laughs> so he, you can take it and leave it. Well, a law, he, he gave Moses a law that you would know even the law. And, and each country actually today is based upon the laws of Moses. That's, that's in your constitution of all countries. Did you ever play gospel in church? Did you ever sing? No, no, no. That, it's not necessary. I'm working. I have a talent to play the blues and jazz, wasn't it? I do. That's, that's what I do, what I have a talent to do. That's what I feel like doing. And that's how I feel. But this don't have anything to do with the Bible. Only making it sweating from my own eyebrows. And I do sweat. It didn't say for a man to make a brick. It didn't say for a man to uh, make an instrument. It didn't say for a man to uh, mold to make an airplane. But he, he knew he gave him five senses to stretch his knowledge to these things. But all he wants him to do is not harm another man and tell the truth. Well, the, well all that is in the Tenth Commandments. And uh, don't harm a man. Don't do anything about that that you wouldn't like to be done to you. So forth and so on. And love God himself as he is your maker. He made you out of things he created. He didn't create you. He, he made you from his creation. Because he created the earth. Hmm? Yeah, I'm a loose. I got mine loose now. So you, I'm not a preacher, as, not as I've knows of, unless I'm a preacher and I haven't got any knowledge of it yet. But the Bible is wisdom and knowledge. You try reading it, you'll find out. You, you get a different viewpoint on everything.
So I read it all over from the Genesis to the Revelations. That's from the front to the back. Now I'm going all over it again. I'm on my way back again. But every time I go across something, I, I, I find something that I didn't know that was there and I had already read it. It's too much to hold in your head. Because we don't know how we know it could be nine or ten million years ago that it's been. And it, and it could be going on nine or ten million more. And it's hard for one human being to hold that much in his head. Now, was a stranger just come to town. He got hold to a good woman, started dogging her around. The man was crazy. He didn't understand that a woman is in demand. Now he tried hold on his thumb. She's beautiful, but he's so dumb. The man is crazy. He don't understand. Then a woman is in demand. She took him in her home, off everything she had. He acted like somebody going mad. The man is crazy. He don't understand. Then a woman is in demand. She said, now you get up from there. I'm just trying to learn how to play the guitar. She's out on in fact, the reason why I don't even try to play it out in public, because they tell me the first impression is a lasting one. <laughs> I'm roll on a while. Like he don't understand she ain't got a friend that he don't try to be her man the man is crazy he don't understand that a woman is we read about him in the paper he was playing at the club down the street and i was working at a supermarket Where's... and he come in to buy some grocers and that's how we met <laughs> Yeah, I think he must have had his eye on me. I don't know. He owned someone, but he bought so much grocery, I thought he was already set. No, wasn't nobody but me, but I see her. she's down there working. I'd go down there and buy a 24-pound sack of flour. <laughs> <laughs> For one guy. <laughs> you know, what you got to do so much grocery? I just buy it. I get it. Just be around there. Someone I really could care for but And then there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms could ever hold You know someone whispered Please, please, please adore me Now you know when I look The moon head turned to gold I said, please I feel way back like I'm a boy or something. I just feel, I mean, everything looks, it ain't like I feel, you know, up to date around it. When you go to the thing, it looks like it's way back. And uh, I went in the building there, that uh, cathedral in London. Yeah, I think it's 
Oh, I forget the name of that canteen. But where they got uh, the floors is uh, all made with the tombs and then dead people with the names on top of that, just like this concrete here, the names right across there. Uh, like Daniel Webster, uh, somebody way back in there, you know. Christopher Columbus, all them different people there, you sit right over, you, all the seats in the chapel and the churches, sitting over these different people. You're down to get a seat sitting right over Zachariah. <laughs> uh, anybody, oh, it's, it's, it's really nice, you know. Give my baby money all the time. Had a hundred dollars, give her ninety-nine. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Funky nut. Been calling right. Called my baby on the telephone. She said, Why don't you leave me alone? I'm a nut. Okay. I'm a nut. I'm a nut, I'm a nut, oh, he not been calling right. Granddaddy was a preacher, and he had an organ. Me, I, on that organ, I'd play. You know, I could see up the road a little piece, you know, when my granddaddy walked away. I'd jump on that organ, I'd just wave. And when I look up and see him coming, if, if, if he hadn't eased in him, or well, I was so busy in on the organ, he'd eased him. Get up off that organ, boy, get away from that. Stop that noise. You said that I'm so dumb. Walking down the street, sucking my thumb. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Funky nut. Been calling right. I did something I ain't gonna do no more. Had five dollars, give my baby four. I'm a nut. I'm a nut. Yes, indeed. That's Del Rey Sykes Bell. Yes, indeed. That's uh, my grandson. So one of your days we're gonna really get him into it. Yes, indeed. Man is here for the glory of God. See, God, he gets such a thrill out of seeing his own image move around on earth and be a good fellow. That's the reason. See, but man don't know that this, and now he put woman here for man. Now that's what's for man. So he could be nice and happy, have a help me. But he's here for God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. And woman's here for him. Me think I made a mark in life. You know, you 
As you go, you must do something while it's being here. You got to leave something behind, because ain't nobody gonna stay here forever, but I will be the made a mark. A little history. You got to, makes me feel good that uh, other artists likes my style and work and do it, and then be a success on it. Such as Memphis Slim and a lot of other, the Rachel, a lot of them do my stuff. Count Basie, Joe Williams, they all do my, some of my stuff. And he went back to, uh, made a tune, 47th Street Jive, got him Andy Cook, as he had a great band. They starred on one of my tunes, 47th Street Jive. So, uh, and I wrote the, wrote the music to Going Down Slow, which is a, uh, a what they call, a masterpiece of the blues, Going Down Slow. St. Louis Jimmy wrote the words, but I wrote the music. If I don't get well no more I have had my fun If I don't get well no more My health is failing me you to write my mother and tell her the shape I'm in am I please write my mother just tell her the shape I'm in tell I said pray for me Forgiveness of my sin. Tell her I said, don't send no doctor. Where is it? So music is just a talent. That's my job. It's good than tell a man to be a brick mason, then tell him to build a building, learn blueprint, but all that takes to make the earth further. Give every everybody can't do the same thing. As a man to make this fishing pole for me, maybe he don't even fish. But there's somebody that likes to fish, even me. So he'll make a living on that. And they're sweating from his eyebrow. There's a guy that built a church. He's a contractor. He may be a gambler. Oh, oh look like I got one. Uh -oh. Look, 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 look. I got something here. Can you hold, hold him there? Hold him, John. Let's see, I got him. I got something. Yeah, you see him? Can you get him then? Oh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's a croaker. Get out! 